Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Caffeine OS onto an SD card to use on your Pi Storm and Amiga. First of all, head over to raspberrypi.com slash software to download the latest version of Raspberry Pi Imager. For today's demonstration we'll be using the Windows version so click on download for Windows and once that's finished downloading just run the program and install it as normal. Next we're going to get the latest version of the image file so head over to archive.org slash details at capital chuck. I'm going to download the latest version of Caffeine OS for the Pi Storm and as you can see we're up to version 9.11. For this demonstration I'm going to use the torrent file. Just go ahead and download that and using QTorrent we're going to download the full program. It's about 15 gigabytes in length so it'll take a little while to download. Just going to fast forward to the end and now that it's finished downloading we're ready to install. Once you've finished downloading the file be sure to unzip it so that it unpacks the entire image and as you can see from this one it's about 32 gigabytes in length. Next insert your SD card, in this case we'll be using a SanDisk 64 gig. I recommend at least 32 gigabytes. Next open the Raspberry Pi Imager that we just installed and click on choose storage. Select the SD card from the drop down list and as you can see from mine it's the K drive and 64 gigabytes. Next click on choose OS and scroll to the bottom where it says use custom and then navigate to the drive and folder where the image file is stored and if it doesn't appear click where it says change file types here to show all files and select that image and open it. Click on right and be sure that there's nothing on the SD card before you continue otherwise you'll lose everything that's on there. When you're ready click on yes. It will take some time to write a 32 gig file, so I'll come back when it's finished. Next install the SD card in your Pi Storm, and in my case I happen to be using the custom plate that I made from my Amiga 2000. Now I'll go ahead and turn the computer on, and with a little bit of luck it should start booting off the SD card, and it looks like it is doing so and after a few seconds it should boot up into Caffeine OS and there we go. Caffeine OS comes pre-installed with a whole bunch of applications including built-in networking and TCP IP if you have a plip box or another network device like I do. It's also got directory opus, eyebrows, media players, video players and a whole bunch of games to enjoy. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you again real soon. See ya!